welcome scale automotive enthusiasts to the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. In this video I'm going to go over this 41 Plymouth Rebuilder and also give helpful tips along the way. This Rebuilder is a curbside model that I bought finished from a guy local here through a model auction. Let's take a look. I froze this entire model for 24 hours in my deep freeze. This allowed me to easily remove the majority of the parts including the glass without breaking anything. The glass needs a good resurface, so I'm going to wet sand the glass from 2000 to 3200 grit, then use Nova's 3, 2, and 1 to get the glass back to a great shine. The hood was missing the hood ornament when I bought it, so I filled it in with a CA glue mixture that I will go over later in this video. This mixture is also used on many other spots on the body to fill gaps. In the Ziploc bag, you can see the headlights, side runners, and any other small parts that came off the body. Here is the curbside chassis and how it was built from the original owner. Evergreen styrene board was used along with evergreen square rod. The wheels and tires are from Pegasus. I am not sure if I will keep this wheel and tire combo or change it up to something more of my liking. I still need to break down the interior and remove the existing color and make it into a two-tone interior that I have in mind. There is nice detail in this interior that I will keep and redo including the speaker grills and the sewing pins used to give the interior seats a little pop. The pin injector marks need to be removed from the rear bench and on the front floor mats. The front seats have a seam that I need to fill in. Now you can see all the spots on the body that I gap filled using a CA glue mixture. The body was originally painted blue and it took me three attempts to strip the clear and paint. I thought the clear was lacquer so I placed it in 91% isopropyl alcohol, but that didn't phase the clear. I then stuck the body in purple power thinking that maybe the clear was enamel. That didn't phase the clear either. My third and last attempt was brake fluid, which did remove the clear and paint, which led me to believe the clear was 2K. The original clear was cracking and wasn't anywhere near I wanted, so just like any other hot rod you buy in real life, you make changes to fit your lifestyle and this build I needed to strip and redo it. I will keep it as a curbside and keep the original black evergreen styrene chassis plate. For the body, you can see all the gap filling I did with the CA glue mixture. The gas cap is filled along with the original placement of the taillights, which the original builder did the body work including Frenching the front headlights. This car does have a great stance with that tire and wheel combo and is making me rethink about changing it. Comment below and let me know if I should change the tire and wheel combo or leave it as is. If you're enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're aware of new videos that I post as they come available. The products I'm going to go over for the CA glue mixture can be found in the description below along with other products and tools I use to build with. These are the two CA glues. I will use one or the other in a mixture based upon the size of the gap. The MaxiCure is a very thick CA glue for wide gaps I need to fill, while the InstaCure is a medium thickness I use for smaller gaps. Depending on my need, I may use BSI Products InstaSet to solidify the CA glue quicker if needed for any reason. With this CA glue mixture, I mix a little bit of a metallic pigment in with it. This can be any metallic pigment you have available. This allows me to see the CA glue better and identify where I need to add more or remove some while I'm filling in the gaps. This will limit the amount of sanding I have to do. I could use glazing putty, milliput, or tamiya putty, but with the shrinkage, CA glue doesn't shrink which allows less time for me to have to prep the body for primer and paint. I learned about this trick from Primed Model Works, which is a YouTuber. A link to his YouTube channel can be found in the description below. He builds military aircraft, however many of the things he does in his builds, such as weathering, can easily be brought over to the automotive model hobby. I hope there were a few tips in here that you can put in your next build. Please help this channel out by liking this video and subscribing. Here's a quick slideshow to fade out this video. Enjoy.